Hi, Alex. Hi there. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. That's pretty creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? Uh, this is the Roland LX15 digital piano. It's Roland's flagship upright digital piano. It's a boat. No, it's not a boat. It's a piano. <laughs> it's got a polished ebony finish. It's so black, you probably can't even Gorgeous. see it. Shiny. Oh. Um, needs a wipe down occasionally, but don't we all? <laughs> also, I think um, the speakers are actually in the lid here. Yeah, it's what, really what? hard to see it's so black. But in that lid is the speaker. It's got a load of speakers inside it. There's some in the lid, there's some down below. So it acts a lot more like a real upright acoustic digital piano. Um, so the sound comes from everywhere. So if I play a higher note, it comes from the right where I'm sitting, lower note comes from the left. Clever. Um, which makes it feel a lot more natural to play for a, um, a classical pianist. Also, if you close the lid, it'll obviously just mute the sound. He did well. <laughs> it's got a range of sounds from a full concert grand sound, so despite the fact it's an upright piano, it's got a concert grand sound. Which is Whoa. huge. A kind of brighter upright sound. Slightly cheesy sounds like this magical piano. <laughs> it's got kind of combination sounds, so you've got pianos with a, a subtle string bed on them. Honky tonk. It's also worth pointing out we're not recording this directly from the line outs of the uh piano. We're recording it as if it is an actual, factual piano with a spaced pair of uh, SE 4400s. Even does drum and bass. If you stamp on the uh, sustain pedal, you can hear the sound of all the strings resonating inside it. It's pretty subtle, but it's definitely there. It's subtle, but, but it adds a, a realism. I think that's the first Roland thing that's done that so far, isn't it? The Nord pianos did that, but no. Uh, yes, I think you're right there, Guy. Yes, I, I am, I know I am. I'm always right. He often is right. I think it's obviously got like the supernatural sounds and stuff, but... That's yeah. a kind of a given if you're spending £5,000 on a piano. Indeed. <laughs> yes. um, it's also got graded action, so the higher keys are much lighter to the touch than the lower keys. Which, to be fair, is quite standard in modern digital pianos. Yeah. But are they ivory field keys as well? Um, they are, I think they're called the RH3 Real. No, that's Korg! That's Korg! Ah. <laughs> oh, no! Borrowed off Korg. <laughs> We've also got MIDI in and out under here. Not that you'd be able to see anything, because it's blacker than black and cooler than cool. The basic recording section, so if you want to record a song, it's very simple. Got a record button, playback, so if you're practicing. Um, 
Under here on the right hand side, mm -hmm. you've got a little USB input. Whoa! And um, this is for taking songs off or playing back, um, backing music, I think. It's the best digital piano, I'd say, I've, I've ever played. Alex? Yes? Play me out! Okay.